Watch me pull up in that drop top You won't deny that You say it's an upgrade Just watch me smile back You know I've been eyeing you Since like the 10th grade I just want that smile back Can you please just smile Watch me pull up in that drop top You won't deny <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, what it is, what it do, what it rules. Your boy is anyway, the only way. As you guys can tell from the title, today is story time. So if you don't like hearing me talk or anybody talk, you should probably dip. But if you want to hear the story about how I almost got in a fight, see, I did kind of clickbait where I said I did get in a fight, but I didn't. But I could have. I could have. I really could have. But I had to be professional and I had to be a man. I had to be the bigger person and not do it. So let's get right to it. But if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, do that now. When you do, turn your post notifications on so every time I post. Yeah, I want to see it. Other than that, it's Zayway, and I hope you guys enjoy. Your... <laughs> hi, guys. Oh, yeah, this is Emily, if you guys don't know. Say hi, your mama. Ah, oh, I don't want to see your feet. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. I forgot to mention, um... I'm not doing this video to simply like, I guess you guys say, hey, Kobe, chill out. I'm not trying to do this to like show off and make it seem like I'm a tough guy or whatever, because I'm not, only when it comes to my family. But I'm I'm doing this because I'm turning a negative into a positive. That way, any of you got Kobe, chill out, man. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm turning a negative into a positive. I'm taking my negative situation and turning it into a positive. That way I can influence you younger people or cause I mean, this obviously proves, chill out. This obviously proves that you older people can be immature too. Y'all can be some little kids. So if you need to hear it, you need to listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to make sure that you guys, if you guys ever are in this situation, you can avoid it and be the better person. Especially if you have like a, like if you have a goal in life and you want to do something big with your life. If you don't have nothing big with your life and you settle, you could do whatever you want to be honest. But to be a, a bigger person, that makes you the better person. So let's just start off like this. So it was a good morning, right? Me and my girl worked together. Yes, we worked together and we lived together. I don't get tired of her and I hope she don't get tired of me. I hope. But, so we wake up early, go to work. It was a good day. I, at least I thought it was gonna be a good day. But we here for some apparent reason because those wanna be immature and a little kid and y'all would know how he was a little kid. But get to work. We get through the whole day of work. I'm like, okay, this is a good day. I finally get to go home. Me and my girl get to go home and rest. Thought it was gonna be smooth going home, but I guess not. We get in our car, I'm driving, and uh, as I'm about to leave the parking lot, I see a white BMW, a white BMW. And uh, I'm like really close to him already. And I'm, I'm, I'll tell you guys right now, oh wait, this doesn't even matter. I was gonna say I was going to speed limit, but that doesn't even matter. But I'm going and I see this white BMW. He has his um, reverse lights on. I'm like, okay, well, he's not gonna be retarded and do something stupid. <laughs> do something stupid. Oh yeah, he did do something stupid. God damn, man, I hate people so much. I, I, mm, no, I don't hate people. I don't, I'll take that back. But people like that, I really dislike them. But I have to understand that they probably going through something at wherever, like in their life. They're probably going through something in their life. And I respect that. But you ain't gotta take it out on other people like that. Like you don't gotta be immature. Like, but I mean, one day he'll see it. So once you, if you ever happen to see this, boy, you need to grow up, son. Cause someone gonna teach you. And I could have taught you but I'm, I'm focusing on my career and bigger things and you're none of my concerns. So, but anyway, so now I'm getting off track, but so he's, he has his reverse lights on and uh, my girl's in the car, keep in mind. So as I get closer to where I'm like, this is my car, this is his car. It's basically like, like that. 
let's say this is the back of his car because he's backing up. So I'm going, right? And this dude wants to do something really stupid and try to back up. This man almost hits me. I'm telling you, he's this close to hitting my car. And my girl's in the passenger seat, so he's about to hit her. So what's your first instinct when someone's about to hit you or just anything is about to hit you or just anybody? Your first instinct is to honk your horn. And if you have trouble honking your horn, you need to do it because that's probably why you got in a car accident. How did I know that? I don't know. I just guess. Maybe I'm that cool. I don't know. <laughs> but so I honk twice. I'm like, bro, chill out. I look at him. He, I can't see him. He can't see me. But, you know, I'm acting like I'm. I, he could hear me and everything. But I honk twice. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Because I'm not going to lie. I have road rage. And that's not cool. But I do have road rage. So, I'm like, okay, I shake it off. We go forward. This man backs up. He goes behind me. We're at the stop sign to exit out of the parking lot. And I have my music bumping. So I'm just like vibing, right? Me and my girl are vibing, right? Oh, we about to go home. We about to go home. But no, no. Some little kid, he's probably, he might be my age or maybe a little bit younger just because of how he acted. This man honks at me. And at first I was like, ain't no way someone just honked at me. So I look in my rear, my rear view mirror and uh, it was him. It was the dude in the BMW. It was him. He honked at me. So I looked and I see him looking at me and he flips me off. Boy, oh, you don't even know how heated I was. He just like, I was having a good day and this man wants, he wants to get me mad. So this man flips me off and he's listening to music, flipping me off. So he's dancing while flipping me off. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> I try to get out the car because I try to teach this man a lesson. But thank the Lord, thank my girl for saving me, not saving me, but stopping me from hurting this kid. I say kid because he was acting like one. I'm sure he was like 20 or something like that. But she stops me. And uh, she's telling me not to do it. And I I kind of, she was like grabbing my arm. So I, I like moved it. And then I got out the car, but she screamed my name. I don't know why. There's a certain scream she does to where like, I, I don't know. I just listened to her. I was just like, I calmed down. I was like, all right, whatever. So she screamed my name. Cause I'm already like, I opened the door and I'm already standing out the car and I look at him. And I was, as I was about to go, like walk towards his car, she screams my name and I'm like, Damn. But I also, when I walked back into my car, I pointed at him. I pointed at him and I was like, okay. Basically saying, I'm gonna remember that. So I got into the car and, uh, oh boy. Oh, the feeling, I don't know if y'all ever felt this, but like when someone gets you mad or you're just mad in general, you have that like, that tingling feeling, like your stomach, it just feels empty. And like, you, you like have a hard time breathing and it's like, Oh, I was about to I was about to black out. Thank the Lord I didn't black out because I wouldn't have listened to my girl. I wouldn't have been able to hear her either. But man, I was I was about to put him in the hospital. And no, I'm not talking about like hurting him. Come on now. I'm just talking about like putting him in the hospital because I know he needs help mentally. So, you know, I want to be the good person and just help him take him to the hospital. But I mean he knows. I'm sure he knows. Um, so that went by and I'm telling you the whole ride home, I was telling my girls like, you so lucky you stopped me because I would have, I would have, I would have, you know what? I would have took him to the hospital and I would have helped him fix his head mentally. Yep. Emily, stop, please. Please. No, uh -uh, don't do it. Don't do it. But yeah, that day happened. I. Eventually got over it, and I was kind of glad that I uh, I was the bigger person, and I understood like I really had to be the bigger person, and just not do anything, because I have I have dreams, I have goals that I want to achieve, and I knew like if I did that little stupid thing to try to mess him up, because he knows I ain't gotta say it, but he knows he knows I have a future and I'm trying to accomplish that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, me being the big person, 
I said, you know, it's whatever. I'm over it. But let me tell y'all what happened the next day. So my girl, she had the day off and I went to work alone. So I was like, okay, I'm about to talk to this man at work, but I'm gonna be professional. I'm not gonna try nothing at work because I'm not trying to get fired. So it's lunchtime, right? And there's tables, it's, it's like, like a long table. I'm sitting at the end. He's sitting like right here on the same table as me. And I noticed him, I'm like, hey, that looks exactly like that dude who just did that stupid stuff to me. Cause I, when I got out the car, I looked at the person to see who it was so I could remember that. So I seen him, I was like, oh yeah, that's for sure him. So I get up from my seat, I walk up to him. I'm like, hey man, uh, you have a white BMW? He was like, yeah. What attitude? He already had attitude. That's where he, that's where I was like, okay. I could already tell what type of person he is. Like he's, he's literally a little kid and like, I don't know. That type of stuff just pissed me off. But I gotta understand, like I just gotta let them go and let them be because they're not gonna go anywhere in life with that type of attitude and how they act. So I asked him that question. I'm like, or he tells me, yeah, it's his BMW. So I was like, okay, so why did you feel like it was necessary for you to honk at me and flip me off? Y'all wanna know what this man said? This, his answer was, mm, I'm not gonna say stupid. It was just retarded. It was dumb. Like, it didn't even make sense. Like, it, it doesn't make sense at all. Like, what? Look, I said, was it necessary for you to honk and flip me off? He said, yeah. I said, okay, why? He said, because you honked at me. Oh my, bro. You know what I feel like doing? I'm gonna show you a clip. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I feel like doing. Because that was, that answer was really, really dumb. Like who, who does that? Just because I honked at you because you was finna hit me? I told him, I said, I said, bro, you was finna hit my car. What do you expect me to do? Just let you hit me? Not only hit my car, but hit my girl who's in the passenger seat? Nah, I'm cool. I'm not letting that happen. Even though you probably would have to pay for my car, which I should have just let you do that. But I'd rather avoid that type of situation and just go on home safe. But after that, I asked him again. I said, all right, I, I, in my head, I was like, okay, I'm gonna give him one more chance to just to man up and tell me the actual truth on why he did it. And mind you, I'm talking in a civilized voice that I'm not making a scene and work because the people around him are already looking at me and him. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be like stupid and just like make, cause a whole scene and stuff like that. So I was talking to him like civilized, around, like in a normal voice, just talking to him. So I said, look, you really thought it was necessary for you to do that, to flip me off and honk at me. And he looked at like, mind you, he was also barely making eye contact with me. He'll look and then look away. And let me tell you guys something. If someone is doing that, I'm telling you right now, if you're one of those people, or you know those type of people, they're scared of you. They are automatically scared of you and they're just immature. Cause eye contact, when you're talking about this type of stuff or just something that's personal or something very important and they're not making eye contact, they're not interested, they're scared or, or whatever. So once he started doing acting like that and giving me attitude, I was like, you know, he's just a waste of my time. Like I, I don't have time for that type of stuff. So I just walked away and was like, all right, I'm gonna remember that. So. Those type of people you got, you can't associate with at all because they're the ones who try to take you down. But they also, that's the motivation I use to make me a better person. So that was pretty much it. Um, I really hope you guys learn from this situation that if anybody is trying to piss you off, get you mad, push your buttons, walk away. Unless, unless it has to do with your family. That's totally different. Y'all can do whatever you want. Because for me personally, if anyone's trying to press me or do anything to my family there's gonna be a problem i'm letting you know right now but he wasn't doing that so i thought about the situation my girl helped me out by stopping me and uh i was the bigger person i walked away so if you guys are in this type of situation where someone's really trying to push your buttons please walk away you can be mad about it at that moment but get over it because you have better things in your life to do you have other things to accomplish don't waste your time on people like that. They're going through it too. Somebody will help them get through it and they'll understand and 
if they don't come to you to apologize, they'll apologize to themselves and say sorry. Yeah. And it'll, like, it'll come to them, I'm telling you. Just worry about you, move on, and uh, worry about your future, for real. And that was pretty much it. There's nothing serious like that. But if you guys did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to subscribe, do that now. When you do, turn your post notification on almost every time I post. Y'all finna see it. Other than that, it's Zayway, the only way. We go. Gotta go give him my leg. Gotta go, gotta go do what I can. Gotta go, gotta go give me a bag. Gotta put it on for my family and friends. Gotta make sure that they know I'm the man. So that these niggas don't know where I've been. Come straight up to the top.